Hello, my YouTube viewers. This is Bill McFadden from Tome Pure Music. And in this video, we're going to get into the LA Scoring Strings Sordino. So you can get the Legato Sordino by itself. It's on sale right now at $199. Or you can get it in the bundle, which has the full version of LA Scoring Strings plus the Legato Sordino. So let's go ahead and jump in. We're going to do a comparison between the two so you can see the difference. So let's go ahead and take a look at the violins. This is just the, the full edition. It's the Divisi patch, which Audio Bro is noted for. And here's the Consordino patch. Here are your violas, regular patch. So here's your violas, regular patch. And then viola sordino. So here's your sordino window. We're getting a little bit of portamento, as you can tell, depending on how you play. Velocities between 5 and 50 give you a portamento, 51 and about legato, 0 to 4 gliss. That would be our gliss. Now, what I'm doing is using the Ari Sordino's reverb because in the String patches I have loaded, I've, I've loaded the basic template with the airy strings for the non-Sordino patches. So I thought that would be a close comparison. So here's your violas non-Sordino, non-con-Sordino. And here is Sordino. Here's your cellos. Regular cellos. And cellos con sordino. Cellos regular. your basses. Do a quick comparison of the basses. So this is your regular lass. And again, it's all divisi. Actually. And then so here's your basses sordino. So you can definitely tell it's a little more subdued and with the mutes. Went a little too high there. And here's your interface. You can do it with the arc interface, but it's not necessary. Since we're only in this case doing the uh, legato articulation. So definitely brighter, which you would expect. So now let's go ahead and get into the uh, differences between the actual libraries. Give you a feel for what 
what the difference is besides the consort Dino. Now on the regular scoring strings, the LA scoring strings too, if you go on the instruments, you have all these folders. You have you, your Eleatoric, you have your Bartok Pitts, and when you go on the Eleatoric folder, you have all these articulations. Now you have cellos, violas, uh, violins, violins too. You even have some Eleatoric Sardino patches. You have sustain patches for your various string groups, and also tremla and trills for the violas, violins one and two. So you have a lot of different articulations. Now, let's look at the Sordino. If you'll notice, you just have five folders. And in the first folder, you have your Sordino violins, A, B, and C, and full. And that's it. Okay, and then in your violins two folder, same thing, you have your A, B, and C, and your full, and in your cellos, let's go to violas, you have your A, B, C, and full. And you may wonder what's full mean, we'll get into that, and what are the section sizes, we'll get into that briefly. And then in your cellos, you have your A, B, and C in full as well. And notice we just have the legato articulations, that's it. Okay, and then in the bases, you have your legato articulations, A, B, C, and full. So in the multis, over in the LA scoring strings regular, you have folders for your multis. So here is your arc template starter for your violins, one, two, violas, cellos, and basses. So here you have uh, key switches, violins, one divisi, and SSD. These are recommended if you have your library on an SSD, the light ones. Okay, so, and I'm trying to focus on the comparison between the two without getting into all the details. In violins, too, same kind of thing. And then by violas, we have quite a few different uh, multis. And then cellos, about the same. Cello, the busy key switch, heavy light, medium. And then this SD, heavy light, medium. And then full section, key switch, heavy light, medium. And then in the bases, same thing. Now in the multis and less, notice no folders. We just have this uh, Sordino one here, EQ'd Sordino, um, Giant Sordino Legato, six voice, Giant Sordino Violas Legato, uh, Lost EQ Sord, Sordino Violas, three part Divisi, and so you have your cellos here. You have a combination of cellos and basses. The basses are um, down an octave or up an octave. And then your here you have your cellos, three part VZ. And then the same thing going on. You have your your octaves being adjusted in the cellos. And we will get into that. Okay. And then you have your violas, three part VZ. And then an octave displacement for the cellos, and then also you have Divisi for your violins one and two. So not nearly as many multis, not nearly as many um, instruments, and that's probably why the, the price is significantly less. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of those multis in the Legato Sordino, because they do add um, another dimension to what you get when you look at the this patch in particular, Batman, Cry, Batman Cries. Okay, let's go ahead and listen to that. <laughs>
it is quite a lush sounding uh, patch and that's with the Sordino, as you can see, violins. And we have the violas as well, mixed in A, B, and C sections. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at, in the Sordino library, we do have a breakdown. In violins one, in the section A is actually four players, and section B is four different players, section C is eight different players, distinct from the A and B. And then 16 would be all of your violins. So basically you have 16 violins and they're divided up by divisi into these three groups. Same with violins too. You have 16 players all together, four separate ones in the A, divisi, four in the B section and eight in the C section. Violas, three, three, six, and then a total of 12 players. Cellos, we have 10 cellos all together, divided up into groups of three, three, and four. And then the basses, we have a total of eight, broken up into two, two, and four. So that's where you get your divisi is from all of these different sections. And also notice, it's good to keep in mind that your C section is always about twice as big as the A and B. Well, and this would be your exception. You have three here and three there, but you only have four there. And the same true with the bases. But in your uh, violas, you have three, three, and then three and three is six. You have twice as many in the C. And for your violins, one and two, you have eight and eight here. So you have eight for A and B and eight for C. So that's how the instruments are broken down in terms of sections, number of players. And then in the LA Scoring Strings Library, where you have first chairs, you just have one player in the first chairs, okay? And one player, first chair for the bass, cello, viola, violin one, violin two. So you actually have two first chair violins. So that gives us the breakdown how it's distributed. Now, we looked at the patches and we've heard the patches in the uh, Sordino. We've heard several of the patches through the violins, violas, cellos, and basses. Let's go ahead and take a look, since we're trying to focus on the Sordino library, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other multis. So we looked at the Batman Cries. Let's take a look at the EQ'd Lost Sordino, Sordinos. So in this patch, we see we have uh, Violins A. We have violins B, C. Actually, let's go ahead and minimize the arc. So we basically have the color is lost sordinos. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next multi, since we're taking a look at the, we're focusing on the Sordino Library. So you have cellos A, B, and C, and uh, Sordino cellos to A, B, and C. And if you go to the instruments, and you go to Sordino cellos. Notice you have Sordino cellos A, B, and C in full. So there's your A, B, and C. And then we have this Sordino cellos 2 patch, which we don't actually see in the instruments, which is interesting. And then if you break these out a little bit, Notice these are in the dry, these are dry right now. And we can change that by using the arc. So everything's gonna be dry. And then if we go to the next one, break that out. 
As you see, everything is dry. So you could go ahead and put on your own reverb, or you can use the inherent reverb, which is quite, which is designed especially for this library. And here's your Sordino Cellos 2 legato. Now, the way you change the reverb for all, in this case, we have six patches as you go to the color, staging color, and you select up here the port, which in our case is A, because if you look up here, all the instruments, let's minimize this again just so you can see, all the instruments, all six of them, are actually in the A bank. Here's your B bank, it's empty. So if we then go into the back end of the arc, select the reverb we want, let's say Shah's Redemption. Well, actually, um, we're in Sordino, so we have to use the Sordino presets. Okay, this will cause you a lot of frustration if you actually, if you're used to working between both libraries. The four library, the four reverbs that work on the Sordino preset are the, these four right here, Private Ryan, Perdition, Aries Sordinos, and Batman Sordinos, and Lost Sordinos. Let's go ahead and do Perdition. Then we'll transmit. And notice this color has now changed to Perdition. So all of our colors now Basically, reverb is perdition. Okay, so there's that patch. Actually, that multi. So looking at now, just to give you an example, if I were to choose a preset that's not in the Sordino, like Shaw's Redemption and transmit it. In this case, it didn't change it, it stayed perdition. So it'll only change it if you Choose a preset that it is con Sordino, which are these guys right here, Sordino presets. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at the one of the uh, patches. This one here has bases and the ABB. Okay, let's go ahead and look at that one. Or just something that's interesting. So in this case, the arc wasn't engaged. They just loaded in the presets. And remember, these are Sordino, so we have color dry. So if I want to change, if I want to put a reverb on it, let's do very Sordinos, for example. I have to do it one by one. So that one's now very Sordinos. Um, We'll change this one to Ari Sordinos. So that's what we have the art for, is changing all the presets. At once by using the transmit, as we saw. So here we go, Ari Sordinos. And also you have to activate them like so. This little button right here. So I have to go to the real legato tab to do that. So I have to be and change it to Aries. So now we have the same space for all of the four sections, sort Sardino basis C and so on.
So this string library has a sound unique to its to all other libraries. It, does, it stands out from all other libraries and its uniqueness. You can hear the the uh, and on the bows, if you will. It's just uh, a great library. And I guess that's why it's lasted so long. It was ahead of its time, in, in my opinion. So we have a few more. Now, one thing I did want to mention, as you can notice, it had the 8 VB for the basses. So basically what you can do, let's go down to the basses. If we go into the <clears throat> automatic arrange, <clears throat> the auto arranger, and then we go to the expert mode, notice the bases are down an octave, and the range has been changed as well. So if I just normally everything the same octave. <laughs> Notice this is the only one that's going down below C2. And I can make it go lower by changing the low note here, which doesn't seem to want to. There we go. I guess that is about as low as it's going. Okay, there we are, a low note. So when you have it, Minus one octave, basically the low note is now transferred up an octave. Which gives you a nice effect, blending the uh, cellos and the, or actually, yeah, the, the cellos and the basses together. So that's what this is all about, and that's how you can change it if you want to make your own custom presets, is by going back into the uh, advanced tab. Now we're back to the basic. So as you see, we have um, violins, three-part divisi. We have violins, two, three-part divisi, another uh, patch where you have the cellos and the uh, violins where the cellos are playing. The low note has moved up an octave and so on. And then you have your VLS three-part divisi. So all in all, I would say this library is definitely a must-have addition to the full version to give you um, a true Sordino sound. And as you saw, some of the presets really stand out. Some of the multis in particular really do stand out in this library. So this is Bill McFadden from Tone Pure Music. If you like this video, please click like if you wish to subscribe then uh, please subscribe. So Bill McFadden signing off from Tone Pure Music.